So anyway, uh, my name is Robin. Uh, welcome to Polynit. Anyway, if you don't know what this place is, it's basically a place where startups gather, you know, do their projects. And in the daytime, you probably see a lot of startups in and out. Very young people, those who are too young at heart. Uh, so, that, like. uh, so we are at Block 81. Yeah, so we started in four years ago. Yeah, 2020. Yeah, so 2020. Then blocks everything. Yeah, yeah, so block seventy one basically it's what we call the Silicon Valley of Singapore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is where it starts. It used to be an industrial park. Yeah, uh, under a company GDC. called GDC. Yeah, so basically the the industry was just like a manufacturing plant, and they realized that no, why not we test the idea of you know green kind of like R and D and every people all in one spot. It was just kind of like a experiment. Yeah, and that experiment turned out to be garnered a lot of interest. You know, uh, NUS was the first who came in with the students coming in, you know, putting in programs, accelerators, and before you know it, you know, over the course of the past few years, a lot of startups was actually born here. Yeah, so eventually the whole place changed. And right now they are like block 21, 81, you know, 79. These are all new blocks surrounding an ecosystem of startups. Yeah. So regardless of your hardware or, or software. Uh, this is where basically if you want to talk to people, investors, yeah, this is a good place to test. Yeah. So uh, the backstory of uh, Factorum started with two co-founders, uh, NUS graduates as well, um, trying to tackle the problem of manufacturing, uh, but more on the part where it's more prototyping. Uh, because when you are looking to product parts, you know, one of the main big problems is that you need to find uh, people to make need time to get quotes, yeah. And that actually is very laborious. In fact, this process shouldn't be your main focus because a lot of time you end up doing this and then you're not focusing on building the product. So what you're just looking for is quotes, you know, and trying to figure things out. They found that there's a big gap, yeah. And the analogy of this is if we wanted, we see Factorum as being the factory of the world. Yeah, everyone should be able to manufacture, should be able to prototype if they have the idea. Yeah, because most ideas fall short. So what we're tackling here, it's the manual, very manual process, you know, of doing RFQ. Yeah. And, and this is ex extremely uh, problematic for both sides. So one you have the shop owner, so here we have uh, Bobby. Yeah, in this case, Bobby is, mm. they use yeah. Ahuat, they want to use Ahuat. <laughs> uh, so Ahuat, you know, looking for a job or even uh, for him is managing, you know, kind of like uh, the parts, you know, and Sometimes when you don't have job, no, nowadays with the recent trade war, you know, when, when it comes to the America and geopolitical tension, it can be a bit difficult. You know, get fast cheap, fast. Uh, but we do also uh, emphasize a lot on Southeast Asia countries. Really. Yeah, in fact, countries like Vietnam, Indonesia, and even Malaysia, yeah, is, is ramping up in terms of their manufacturing plants. Yeah. So what you're seeing that in a typical route, you know, you probably have about, I think, close to. Two to three months just to get this get these things going. Yeah, and we what we are trying to do is that we are trying to downside it even to days. Yeah, that's the beauty of what we're trying to do. So very laborious work, but taking only uh, days to get it done. So this is usually how we go through the process uh, and how we make it faster. So we automate the process that is very uh, laborious, which is basically send, sending your bomb list, you know, for some of the supply chain, yeah, procurement managers. Uh, one huge issue is that when you upload parts, it's going to be one by one. What we do on the platform is that you just need to upload your zip file. And we will automatically extract these files and code it based on each item. Yeah. And the beauty about this is that you actually get what we call instant code. So within 24 hours, uh, if it's an instant quote, you will see the price there. Yeah. Uh, if not, it will be basically going through the team to do what we call manual RFQ. But everything is still done within 24 hours. Uh, we also do something called a uh, automated drawing extractor that we can actually we extract drawings, uh, data, things like GD and T, uh, dimensions, surface treatment, and then if there's anything that is not looking good, we actually flag it up for you. Yeah. So basically, that part we don't need to worry. Yeah. We also help you to match you to the correct production factory. In fact, the suppliers that we work with uh, is a curated list. So we work with suppliers in Singapore. Southeast Asia, uh, even China, if you need to, uh, to assure quality, cost, as well as lead time. Yeah. So we'll go through quality checks 
and you are managing this all in one dashboard. Yeah. So uh, basically, really just plug and play. Yeah. UI has been refined over the past four years, and right now it has uh, helped not just makers, manufacturers, uh, but right now suppliers they don't get alternative stream in terms of uh, diversifying their uh, jobs. Yeah. One of the sessions that I had when visiting the suppliers that they appreciate that the platform helps them to diversify away from some of the things that they are not doing. Uh, because you never know, right? Like COVID sometimes or the, or the trade war, chips are not being able to manufacture. And once that hit, you know, your business could just go bust. Yeah, you need to also diversify in some ways. So we're also looking at helping you to get cost saving as well. Uh, so in some ways, you might think that, hey, you know, Cactron isn't Cactron like a middleman. Yeah, we won't call ourselves a middleman because but we, we rather position ourselves more as an enabler. Yeah, because we're helping you solve, focusing on the 20% uh, of jobs that are more critical. Or 80% of parts should be automated and you can actually work with ease on that. Okay, so this is what we meant by the automated drawing. Yeah, so we are able, using our AI platform, we are able to extract drawings, service finishing, without you even needing to key this in. Yeah. So if there's any things, even down to custom material. So we have some clients who can, I got some really interesting or exotic uh, custom materials, they can indicate on the platform, and then we find the right suppliers to match it. So we ensure uh, that quality is always, and also dimensioning, tolerances. I think a lot of uh, manufacturing are very strict on that as well. Yeah, so this is using intelligence to help you to get 50% more efficient in actually optimizing who the manufacturer that you're working with. Of course, I'm talking on the manufacturer level, but you can still come in more as a maker level because we do serve the startups and individual buyers as well. Yeah, some of them might need to build a few parts, you know, and, and later I'll just give you a quick demo. Yeah. We also have you able to see all in one, so from start to end, the point that you place an order with us from the delivery, when it's the quote, how the processing, how the progress, even down to delivering to your doorstep. So everything we track. Yeah, and this is something that we are working towards too, to make sure that you know, in case some com some manufacturing companies will need audits, these are ways that we can actually help to provide information as well. Yeah, so this is kind of like how the manufacturing uh, partner dashboard would look like, but I'll give you a demo later on. Uh, so to date, uh, we have delivered more than 50,000 parts. Our fastest check-in is less than a day. Yeah, 30 seconds, they get the code, they see the price they want, uh, you can set your target price and lead time, you just one click away. In fact, for repeat orders, all you need to do is just go to your history and click repeat order again. Yeah, this is one click away. You can even choose the supplier that you want to work with, or if this suppliers, maybe you want to try a new different supplier. You can even indicate that. Yeah, we can also help you in putting geographical countries that you want this to be. Yeah, so we are we we are actually delivering on our quality as well as on time, ninety eight percent, and these are some of the clients that we work with. So we work with uh, DSO, Panasonic, Micron, hopefully Neon soon as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with some other uh, big companies. Uh, I just had a meeting with Airbus today. Yeah, so one of the areas that we are tackling is aerospace as well as space technology. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things that really excites me is that uh, the founders were sharing that we want to make parts for Tesla. Yeah, mm -hmm. we want to make space parts. So this is something that, you know, especially in the US, this is kind of like their secret pack. Yeah, because Southeast Asia manufacturing cost is so much more significantly cheaper and better than in the US. Mm -hmm. So in fact, the founders are right now in the US trying to establish a market over there. So we are growing really, really fast. And some of the areas that we cover are mainly CNC, uh, 3D printing, sheet metal. Uh, if you need surface treatment uh, down to engineering services and even injection molding, yeah, we do have all these services available. So um, in fact, I think we have enough data. So the instant quotation data are actually based on the past sort of like historical purchase from our past clients. So right now we are able to do up to 800 parameters in terms of extracting data. It's quite a wide range. In fact, I would say that right now we are able to automate 60% of uh, the orders coming in. Uh, usually they are able to be instant quoted. Yeah. So only those complex you know, products that might need a bit more time, we probably still within 24 hours. Yep, so I think this is uh, a very exciting time for us as we started our journey in 2020. Uh, like I said, we hope to be the factory of the world, you know, helping uh, suppliers also be the 
interface with its customers, managing orders, uh, using AI. Yeah. Uh, one thing that, you know, why we see that this is growing is uh, an example to use is how Grab and Gojek is, have digitized Grab hearing, uh, taxi hearing. Yeah. So imagine without tech, we probably would be still flagging taxi and waiting for a very long time. So we see Factorum as doing that platform to digitize your process, automate it, and eventually having access to Southeast Asia as well. Yeah, so this is kind of like a bit about uh, Factorum. Okay, I'm gonna just give you a very quick demonstration. Uh, anyway, there is a link that you can do uh, here. So, how do I close this thing? This thing just. And, uh, cut. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, just to share, um, right now we are having a, I would say, kind of like um, offer. Yeah, we are giving all orders 50% off, up to $500. So if you ever have any parts that you want to try, you know, right now you can head over to factorum.co. Uh, you can sign up an account. Or if you, don't, yeah, if you are those people that are a bit sensitive about their data and just want to get a code, right? You can actually go to this part where it's called app.factorum.co slash get code now. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to sign an account. And this is what I'm going to demo for you. Oops. Yeah, this is what I'm going to demo for you. So How this is where- it's on offer right now? Uh, this, it. no, this is basically from me. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can only get it from me. Yeah. Okay. I'll give, I can, I'll, I'll give the code to Fastly and then uh, okay. we'll Thanks. share it to people that, you know, Okay. Really needs it. So, for example, right now, uh, these are the three. So, we talk about others. Again, these are the other services that we also provide. Battery rolling. And sometimes you are not sure. Yeah, sometimes it could be, you know, you are just a guy that you have this model and maybe, hey, uh, what techniques, what, what, what technology should I be using? So, you can even put this here and you can even ask us. So, we're going to use the sample parts, you know, here. Uh, and I'll show you uh, how fast, you know, I won't say how fast, you know, what are the, some of the priorities. For example, in this, uh, drawing, we are, we are able to extract all the details down to detail. You can even configure this part. So initially, you will look, okay, this is the price that you get. So you either, you think this is something that is okay, you can put the price up, because this will help us in understanding more data. Mm. So if you need to configure your part, maybe 10 quotes, yeah, you can do it over here. Uh, as you can see, the price are automatically calculated on the side. It will let you know about the booking days. Uh, there also is a target price. So let's say twenty dollars is you know, a bit too expensive. Uh, you want to put it down to fifteen. Yeah, and then maybe you can even set your delivery date. It's an urgent order. I need it by next week, tenth. Yeah. So everything will be calculated on the site. But when you do this, basically what we will do is that we will do a manual RFQ quote. Yeah. So that's the part where you can get an estimate of the pricing depending on the model. And then once you submit for review. Uh, that's where we get you to sign. <laughs> yeah, so this is the part where you can, I think, explore some of these features that we have over here. Uh, on the partner side, I think some exciting features that you can see on the site. Uh, we are working with manufacturers to have this what we call parts library, where they can upload their parts to get an estimate cost and even do revision on their existing design. Yeah, so a lot of parts when you have different like version one, two, three, right? It's going to cop up a lot of this item. So we want to help them in understanding all this project all in one dashboard. Yeah, so this is what um, that we believe will help to. What other technologies of uh, machining you have? Here you a bit of three D printing. Yes, correct. Um, injection molding, injection molding, all yeah. these. Uh, everything. I mean, I won't say everything. So yes. Most of the things that you need probably you still have. Like even three D printing, you can even go down to MJF. You know, uh, all those kind of printing if you need to. Yeah, so we work with, I think, 200 plus materials. Yeah. So, so wood. Wood? Yeah. Actually, wood is the most uncommon because this is more in manufacturing. So, yeah. you do is stainless steel, yeah. you know, materials. Plastics. Yes, plastics, you know, 3D printing. Wood, probably. CNC machining in the Google Sorry? CNC machining in the Google Sorry? You could, you could Yeah, you can do wood, you can do wood as well. Yeah, you can do wood as well. But I think mainly most of our orders are like yeah. Yeah. metals. Yeah, and also fiber. Correct, carbon fiber as well. Yeah. Oh, so we move do to this. sustainability. Let's talk sustainability. Maybe wood, you maybe need to go to the schools. Yeah. Schools tend to focus more on wood. Mm. Second is plastic, but mostly wood. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking my DSD project just said. Yeah, yeah. so we, always, we, we sometimes we get uh, orders from. Uh, oh, to, uh, uh, yeah. Why call that? Oh. The, <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Sometimes we get orders from. 
schools as one, well. Yeah. One viewer. Yeah. Schools as well from that. So, Hashtag um, on the page. Yep, so I think uh, that's the end. I think if you'd like to find out more, uh, you can scan this QR code. Uh, it's just a way to help you, you know, in case, you know, no, if I need to order some parts, you know, and, and that's where you get, and no charges sometimes. Where do you get the uh, I will. I can give you now. Yeah, I can give you now. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'll I'll share with this after the video. Okay. <laughs> yeah. so keep this. Okay. Right, right after the break. <laughs> you should have been here. For those who are watching, you should have been here. Yeah. Come to the next hacker and you so get you get uh, freebies. freebies like this. Yeah. Sometimes got pizza also. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Okay. Money. So the instant quote, right? It's basically uh, prices that we have granted clients okay. and they are really successful. Easy. So when you put a part and you immediately see a price, right? That's the price that we have called through that we think that is realistic for I mean, suppliers. I mean, and, uh, I mean when, when, when the suppliers see the thing, they won't like, oh, actually it should be like this price. No, 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 no. So, I mean, first time order might be. Yeah, but basically after four years of data, there are some parts that are similar, similar enough, similar enough for the AI to pick up to say that, hey, based on these parameters, I'm able to give you this estimate of price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But of course, there are parts where it comes to orders, like I have 2,000 orders, right? So how would that amortize the cost? So that is something a bit different. Currently, the platform is able to serve up to 500 orders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you go, I mean, <laughs> I had one session with an MNC and she was putting numbers like 100,000, mm -hmm. 1 million orders. <laughs> we are serving the uh, uh, high, mid, slow volume kind mm -hmm. of uh, industries. So you can't expect the price to be <laughs> A significant difference, yeah. yeah. But you have enough of those in Southeast Asia. Sorry? Are there enough of those kind of customers in Southeast Asia? Actually, you'll be surprised um, that a good bulk, right? In fact, I think 80% of our business come from local Asia. Singapore? Yes, Singapore. But the 20% is it it what makes up most of our revenue. Mm -hmm. And that Fair is in the <laughs> US. Mm -hmm. So in the US, we've got a company like Droplet, Cubic, they are measurement companies. They order they order parts like in tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's so expensive. Oh, yeah. They're not big enough, they're yeah. not small. Enough. Yeah, but, but also for them it's expensive to get a manufacturer in the US. So Correct. if they can find a, one a, a platform thing, to order yeah. or because one of the problems I always find like Singaporeans don't have this problem because a lot of them speak Chinese. Yes. But if you are not a Chinese speaker and if you want to get into the whole cheap manufacturing in China thing, it's super hard. Yeah. Right, so things like this could help you. And I think right now because of the trade war, yeah, the tax tariffs are super high. That's that about right? So, so you can't go to China. Correct. Yeah, yeah. You won't even consider China. You will try to go to another city. Uh, tariffs, uh, which one? Uh, tariffs. Tariffs. Yeah. Tell me where. US. Check. US is a huge. Yes. Uh, in in uh, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so yeah. in that sense, do they get to choose where they? You can. Yeah. So I think on our platform, let's say for example, I don't want to work in China. Yeah. China company. You can let us know. We will indicate on our platform. Yeah. But some people might. I say I don't mind. Yeah. Could you send me a quote that is from China yeah. and Singapore just to compare? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we do do that as well. Because I know the US like you know, as, I I just give you a 50 50 maybe it will be increased decrease not so much or sometimes they just go like all the way up like mad. Who knows? Yeah. So I think so. So for us, luckily, I mean we are quite in a we are quite grateful that some of this US customers are quite empathetic to what we are doing. In fact, we do make a few mistakes here and there, especially when the parts are not you know, to the certain quality and we need to remake these parts. So uh, we had this incident before, not to say that this is something that has not happened, but we try to assure our customers that you know, we are responsible throughout this whole process. All you need to do is just make sure that you have faith and trust and upload the drawing, and then we will do all the back end work. Yeah. You have a question, Troy? Yeah. Have you guys used sand, uh, sand or drawing? Oh, uh, yes. What I think software? there are other software. Yeah. yeah. So things like Costimator as well. Oh. Yeah. So I think that's a US, is it a yeah. US based software, right? Yeah. yeah. It's uh, also like a manufacturing. Correct. Right? Yes. But it's for US. Right? Correct. So it's similar. So they are basically a US based factorial. So you guys are the only ones here. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I really, I don't think we are the only ones. There are definitely other competitors as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Zometry. Yeah. yeah Zometry. Yes. Uh, there's also some manufacturing software that are like cost meter. But the problem with this, I won't say the problem with this, is just that the way that they charge customers is a bit different. Mm -hmm. So they charge on a subscription basis. Currently, we don't have a subscription model yet. So it's free to use. Basically, what we do is we get a commission from the service fee and the deal. Yeah. 
it's quite a geometry in the US doesn't it still come in here? Yes. Yeah, it's very interesting because um, I think when it comes to platforms, I think there are a lot of players. But when it comes to also quality assurance, um, some of them, some of the companies or platforms only focus on their customers, which in fact uh, missed out on working the suppliers. In fact, we are also we are actually doing the reverse. We are trying to work with suppliers to have a better UI. So in fact, a lot of the features that we are doing every day is to cater to these suppliers. Mm -hmm. Because in the long run, if they don't work with you, you don't have the supply to actually support the demand. So that's where a lot of platforms actually fell through. They focus a lot on the customers, UI, cheap price, and they fail on the other side and it comes back to them. Yeah. While currently us, uh, we are always looking at what the suppliers need and what the customers want and then how do we match this together. Mm. So there are new features that are being um, sort of like introduced yeah. every month. Yeah. So recently there was this feature where we do a very simple thing. So basically on the dashboard you see that there are just um, sort of like words of the uploads, right? So we added just a thumbnail of the pictures of the orders accepted. So they know that hey, I actually this order was accepted, or which order was not accepted. Uh, just a very small touch, but they felt that it's actually helped them to visualize everything all in one glance. Yeah, because for them, they have their own existing basically jobs and businesses. This is something like a SAP Ariba kind of like software where they're getting quotes, you know, right? Uh, we also got comment from all of the suppliers that our software is more user friendly than SAP Ariba. Mm. SAP Ariba is just words and text and everything. Yeah. yeah, it's just not very user friendly. Yeah. So. I SAP is the one they do the uh, Pokemon, yeah, yeah. So they put up orders, for example. But it's like uh, very non intuitive, yeah. uh, boring. Uh, it's a document kind of yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the place. Some, you need some training. Training. Yes, you need training. Right? In fact, you need, you need a consultant to set that up for you. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So they do their own like CRM stuff. Yeah, but it's just very wordy. Yeah. So in fact, we want to be a self-serve model. So when you come to our platform, you upload your part, you know what to do, and then you get what you want. Yeah. Very straightforward. Yeah. No fuss. You know, all the prices, shipping are there. If you need it fast, we try to get it there. <laughs> yeah. So these are things that. Yeah. So. But usually they will compare, yeah, because they themselves yeah, like they do different things. So like you got your thing, they got their thing. Yeah. But they sometimes put up orders as well, so they put up orders. So too. SAP also like a part in SAP is that, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. because they can uh, do that, yeah. You can use that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Correct. So basically, what you say, you manage supply. Uh, you what to say, send orders to them yes. and all that. Yeah. Instead of all that thing, Patreon does the thing. It is yeah. a part of. So with that, I think that's the end. More yeah. Focus. Yeah. So I I I encourage you to try out the platform. I think that's where the magic happens. Yeah. Uh, in fact, if you upload a three D file, that's the best. Yeah. Because a three D file, you are able to explore the instant code feature. Yeah. If it's a two D file, you might not get the full experience. Yeah. Because they are just not into it. There are some customers that just say, I only have PDF. Then how can I? So can I? which what? How the drawings will be uploaded? Is there a guideline for it? Uh, no. Actually, the guidelines, if you look at the platform itself, okay, it's all kind of file. Even if you have a zip file, so we indicate the file types over here. Mm -hmm. except, but let's say you only have PDF, you can still upload it. Oh. Yes, because we are able to pick up uh, the drawings from there. Of course, then when it comes to simple drawings, it's fine, but when there are also things like GD, GD and T involved, yeah, uh, it might not pick up immediately, yeah, so if um, there is an error, <coughs> the ops team itself will flag out and then we'll do the necessary adjustment before we send out a code. Yeah, so there's a process, you upload, we get your uh, basically orders, we'll look for suppliers, and then we'll verify the code before we can view this code on the end, and then later on, uh, we'll process it from there. Yeah. So feel free to We want just a reflection something out of sheet metal, it's mm. a 2D yes. drawing. Yes, correct. Um, I still have to upload in 3D format. If the uh, or not the except. The except. Yeah, the except. Yes. Yeah, the except. So um, <clears throat> this part, you know, if there's any issues, you can always just let me know. <laughs> this is where the help desk is. <laughs> so on our side, you know, that you can actually communicate. Uh, we will be actively talking. Oh, to you're you. behind it. Yeah, I will, I will be actively. Direct, direct, I'm at box and I'm going to go for Yeah, so. So because for me, it's that uh, I'm still new to the platform. In fact, I'm still learning. And then I 
think from the past experience that I have with suppliers and customers, um, it's generally very easy to use. I think that's the most important, self-serve. And there's no MOQ, even if it's just one, you still get three. Yeah, if it's 10, uh, if it's 1,000, then maybe we can have coffee. <laughs> we'll see how to bring down the price for you as well. So, what are you trying to do here? <laughs> yeah, so um, we are basically trying to bridge the gap you know, in helping uh, people in terms of their manufacturing needs. Mm. Yeah, so if you ever know of friends or more of people that might need this, feel free to recommend. Yeah. I'm happy to send you that 50% discount. Okay, that, thank you so much, guys. Thank you.